Hi there, I'm Drew Badger, the world's number one English fluency guide. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something. This was a requested video, and this is how to speak English faster. Now, I know a lot of people, they have problems with maybe they're in a conversation and they can't quite say what they want to say. They can't express themselves as quickly as they like. And this is because they're trying to do two things at the same time. The first one is speak. And the second one is try to think about what to say as they're speaking. It's a habit that you must develop and you can't really do it just, you know, in a snap. We're going to, okay, magically make you speak fluent English faster, but we can give you a few tips in this video, just three simple steps that you can use uh, to practice and become a faster speaker. So let's begin. The first part of learning to speak more quickly is to learn things as phrases, and that begins by listening to people and really listening for the phrases that people have. If you're really a good student right now, I know a lot of people will probably not follow my advice about this, but if you do, you will stop this video or even go back and watch it after you finished and just take a few minutes uh, and just take maybe one or two sentences or one or two minutes, whatever that section of the video is, but go back and then try to write down what the phrase is. So I say a couple of words and then usually there's a pause and then I say a few more words and then there's a pause like that. So instead of listening for individual words, you should be listening for where the phrase breaks are in a sentence. So in a sentence, in a sentence, in a sentence is one thing and you can hear how it blends. I don't say in a sentence, I say in a sentence, in a sentence, in a sentence. So in a sentence, that phrase, it's almost like a whole word by itself. And all of these phrases we put together in sentences and I know these are, it's kind of a, a lengthy explanation, but the important thing to remember about this is that it's the phrases itself that you need to master in order to be able to speak more quickly. Now, the second part of this connected with being able to listen and then using things, remembering things as phrases is when you're focusing on your blending of the sounds because the blending happens uh, in the phrase itself, just like in a sentence, I'm blending it to in a sentence, in a sentence. So in a sentence becomes in a sentence, in a sentence. There's the internal blending, and then there's the blending that connects maybe one phrase with another. So one phrase with another, one phrase with another, phrase with another. Now, I don't want to spend too much time on this because there are really a lot of things that we could go into about specific sound blending. These are the kinds of things that we go much deeper into in Master English Conversation and the Fluency course using the Fluency Bridge learning system. But these are, again, uh, the kinds of things that you should be listening for. So number one, listen for things as phrases. Go back and just use this video. What am I saying that's a phrase? And what am I saying that's maybe an individual word? So even something like individual word, I'm blending that together. Individual word, individual word, individual word. So I don't even take a breath between those. Individual word, individual word word becomes individual word, individual word, individual word, individual word. So I'm not even saying individual. I don't want to over pronounce it because I want to connect it to the other thing. I want to connect individual and word. Again, I don't want to give you too much information about this, but the point is that if you can one, master things with phrases, and then number two, you're learning to connect and to blend these things, and you do this by listening to native speakers. So be listening again, go back and listen to me again in this video, or listen to other native speakers and how they pronounce things. I'm trying to speak a bit more quickly in this video so that you can listen for this. Where are the breaks in the sentence, and how do those blend together? The final piece of the puzzle is to practice. This is step three. You have to go back and take maybe a uh, one phrase like in a sentence and review that until you can say it flawlessly and blend it just like a native speaker and also how you can use it without thinking. So in a sentence, 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 in a sentence. So practice with me right now. In a sentence, in a sentence, in a sentence in a sentence, in a sentence. Once you've done that, you can maybe add a little bit of something else. So I was reading in a sentence. I was reading in a sentence. I was reading 
in a sentence. Now we're taking these two things I was reading and then in a sentence, but we blend them together. I was reading in a sentence, reading in a sentence, reading in a sentence. So you have to master phrases, learn the blending of these, just practice trying to trying to push them together, seeing how you can do that until it feels comfortable for you, but you have to practice over and over again to really master it. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have questions about this, this was uh, this video in particular was a requested video, and if you have anything you'd also like to learn more about, just write it down in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed the video, and if you'd like to improve all of your fluency habits in addition to just speaking more quickly like this, so if you want to become a faster speaker, this again involves uh, learning to master phrases and to learn how to blend and then practicing. These are all things you improve naturally when you develop the right English fluency habits. And we can help you do that absolutely free at EnglishAnyone.com. You can click on the link in this video to come to EnglishAnyone.com and take our free English fluency quiz. It will tell you exactly what you need to focus on, whether that's improving your pronunciation or improving your listening ability. All of these things we can help you with, again, absolutely free. Just click on the link in this video to take our quick free English fluency quiz. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.